Today, we violate a manufacturer's warranty. This is the CH Throttle Quadrant. We're going to disassemble it to show all the hackers and makers what to expect if they ever want to modify one. Unscrew both table clamps and pop off the knobs. There are six screws to remove, including this one under the sticker. And a couple under the non-slip pads. The inside is a little like a project box. There's room to add or modify things. The switches are connected to a circuit board and can be removed easily. Whenever I remove components like this, I like to label them so I can replace them properly. The main circuit board is also easy to remove. Be careful with these quarter inch nuts. They can fall out and get lost. The six pack of potentiometers is attached with 12 screws. I can label this right and left prior to removal. If you plan on hacking this throttle quadrant, it's important to know that there is not an obvious way to remove these screws. The circuit board is in the way. You can't remove the screws without first removing the circuit board, and it was unclear how to do that. If you really need to disassemble this whole thing, you might consider other, more drastic measures to remove the potentiometers. I don't recommend you chop up the housing with a rotary tool unless you're an experienced builder and you have confidence that you can build something better from the parts.